intra-aortic balloon pump seen on x-ray and CT. In this case, the balloon was caught in an inflated face, and that makes this uh, image so much more interesting. It's an 83-year-old lady with a history of hypertension who presented with an acute MI and had a balloon pump place. You can see the top marker of the balloon pump and the bottom marker of the balloon pump, the radiopaque markers, to uh, assist in positioning. Same marker is now color yellow. Here you see the inflated balloon uh, in the uh, chest x-ray, and without it, you can notice uh, the air, the blackness on the thoracic aorta. Again, the markers of the balloon pump. And again, we will depict it uh, with color just to aid visualization. CT of the chest. Here we're gonna uh, see from top to bottom. You can see right and left the mark, and you can see the upper marker of the balloon pump shown by the arrow. You see all the artifacts generated and yellow, and also the uh, arrows in the top are just the EKG leads that you will see as the CT goes from top to bottom. In red, the aortic arch. See some pleural effusion depicted in red. To follow, we're going to see uh, other images of the chest, the right heart and the left heart. Also, you're going to see in circle the descending thoracic aorta uh, with black air inside. Here, and the arrows depict the lungs, left and right, and yellow, the collapse uh, lung, a telectatic lung, a lung electasis on this particular patient, and in black was the aerated lung. Also, the pleural effusion is depicted in red. This is the lower marker of the uh, intra-aortic balloon pump with all the artifacts uh, generated uh, with the uh, x-ray uh, against the radio pack, a radio pack marker. We're going to review now the CT's chest and abdomen from cephala to cauda. The CT of the chest was also combined with the abdominal one. And here we're going to go from top to bottom. You see the aortic arch. You see the top marker of the balloon pump. And as you go down, you see the aorta all in black as the balloon pump was caught in an inflated face in this uh, particular patient. Following up the aorta, thoracic aorta, as it enters the abdomen. And now we'll see very soon the bottom marker of the balloon pump. And then we'll follow the balloon pump uh, as it continues through the abdominal aorta and then it will exit through the right iliac. That's the aorta just before bifurcating. You see the little black mark inside, and now the iliac, you can see the little black mark, which is the uh, lumen of the balloon pump as it goes through the right iliac, and it can be followed all the way as the iliac bifurcates, and then you have the common femoral, and I'll about to exit in the groin area. And here is the balloon pump exiting in the right groin areas depicted by the arrow. We will now do uh, all the images, chest and abdominal, in different anatomical planes. This is just to uh, refresh uh, the different planes that they are. So we'll see transverse plane, top to bottom again. It's interesting uh, how this image can be quite puzzling if uh, we are not uh, aware the patient has a balloon pump inside, as you never see air inside of the aorta. In this case, it won't be air, but helium, which is what the balloon pump is filled in and out uh, while in action. You have a different plane also, front to back. You see the left chest and the right chest, and you see the heart and the aorta, the arch, and now the descending thoracic aorta is starting to develop. See the balloon pump. And then some the pleural effusions in the back of the chest. And now the sagittal plane uh, CT from left side of the patient to the right side of the patient. So we're entering the less left chest of the patient, the uh, heart apex and then as we continue we'll go more immediately see the pleural effusions in the right side of the image and then the aorta filled with air as the balloon pump is inflated and depicted in yellow here for uh, facility visualization 
and then as the image continues to scan through the right side of the patient. See also the right pleural effusion, some uh, right along the lectosis is seen in the other images. To follow, we'll do the same with the abdominal views. Remember that the uh, abdominal CT starts in the lower chest. So we're going to see the lower chest first, so transverse plane. And again, we can follow the aorta from the lower thoracic all the way down that lower marker on the CT. And again, as the aorta is about to bifurcate and now bifurcating both iliacs and the balloon pump uh, coming out or going through uh, the right iliac and then the common femoral artery and into the skin. To follow, see the coronal plane of the abdominal CT from front to back. So the abdominal wall and then the gut we can see filled with air, liver and stomach, the colon visualization, all the mesenterium, and then the cava and then the aorta calcified and the spine. Clearly seen the pelvic and the femur and all the way to the back of the patient. And next we'll do the sagittal plane of the abdominal CT from right, in this case, to left. So we'll see the liver first coming into view, the top, and then the abdominal contents, the kidney under the liver, Then we'll see the cava now in visualization of the spine and then the aorta is going to come into view and then in yellow depicted the area of the balloon pump inflated and then we'll continue to the left portion of the abdominal cavity. So the left of pelvic and femur into view. Well, I hope this uh, video has been interesting. I, it says uncommon to see an intraortic balloon pump inflated and the aorta.